Shambil province majestically stretches through the endless prairie. The history and culture of modern Kazakhstan originated in this place tens of centuries ago, and a significant part of the Great Silk Road was laid here. Karatau Ridge rises in the southern part of Zhambil province. According to the history, this ridge has been explored for more than a thousand years. In May 2010, the government of Kazakhstan held a competitive tender for the development of Kokjon and Grimelfarbsko phosphate deposits. The enterprise Eurochem Fertilizers, which offered a project strategically valuable for the Republic of Kazakhstan, won the competition. The project's implementation will stimulate the development of the region and allow Kazakhstan farmers to be supplied with the high-quality fertilizers. This will provide sustainable growth in the productivity of the agricultural industry. At the same time, the Eurochem company will be able to provide the enterprises in the group with raw materials as well as establish a foothold in the market of fertilizers of Central Asia and China. Eurochem has carried out extensive research with the purpose of phosphate ore processing. It has shown that the most promising technique of ore processing is the hydrochloric acid decomposition method with dicalcium phosphate as the final product. For the implementation of this scheme, the unique workshop process chain was created. The project assumes two stages of construction. The first stage of the project was completed in December 2015. After the launch of an open-cast mine, the ground phosphate rock production was established, amounting to 640,000 tonnes per year. Raw material from the open-cast mine is delivered to the crusher. After grinding, it is sent to the mill. The airflow lifts the milled material from the work table. After that, the separator allows only finished material to pass through. The coarse material is returned for repeating milling. Produced ground phosphate rock is filtered and then directed to the shipment. At this stage, the investment in production totaled $120 million. The start of the second stage is planned for 2016. It implies construction of the factory and manufacturing of the produce, potassium sulfate, dicalcium phosphate, calcium chloride, gypsum, magnesium sulfate, nitrogen phosphorus potassium compound fertilizers. The total volume of production will exceed 1 million tons of different fertilizers per year. The total investment is estimated at $1 billion. At the present moment, more than 300 workplaces have been prepared. In the following years, the number of staff will exceed 800 people. In total, up to 2,000 jobs will be created, both in manufacture and allied industries. This will create a powerful boost for the development of the labor market in the region, because more than 80% of the employees of the chemical complex are local experts. At present, Eurochem, along with the regional administration, works on projects concerning the development of Janatas City, alongside the development of production. This will allow the historically valuable region to be propelled to the next level. Eurochem has already transferred $18 million for the creation of social and communal infrastructure in the cities of Janatas and Karatau. Tax liabilities to the budget of the Republic of Kazakhstan will exceed 5 billion of tenge, 29 kilometers of water pipelines, 22 kilometers of high voltage tension electric line, 24 kilometers of railway tracks, and 18 kilometers of motorways have already been built. Furthermore, the Eurochem company traditionally pays great attention to support of children's and youth sports, in particular sponsors hockey teams and arranges sport tournaments. Overall, the company will allocate $40 million for the development of the region in the next few years. The project implemented in Kazakhstan has no match worldwide. The chemical complex will produce high-quality fertilizers on the basis of closed-loop, waste-free production. 
built in accordance with progressive international environmental standards. This complex will become a powerful driver for the development of the industrial, social and economic capacity of the region in coming decades. This will mark an exciting new beginning in the history of the Great Silk Road.